Okay. Um, as usual, eh, chapter one is about introduction. Uh, that means uh, ABC of uh, financial management. So you need to learn the basic thing first. You need to understand the basic concept of finance, financial management before we are, uh, we will proceed to another topic. Okay. So let's have a look at some of the overviews. At the end of this chapter, there are three parts, eh, which is part A, part B, and part C. And of course, in between uh, those parts, uh, there will be some short break, like two or three minutes. Yeah. So, um, what we call as uh, you will have some time to regenerate yourself. Yeah. And then uh, we'll pay attention later on. Okay. Part A is regarding overview of finance. Uh, what is the finance is all about? The definition, how finance works, and everything. And then part B is on financial environment and uh, which is how finance work in a business. Yeah, any type of business. And part C, which is related to understanding financial statement. Okay, how do you want to read the report? What are the components that available inside the report? Okay, uh, but yeah, this uh, module uh, have some advantage uh, for accounting students because accounting students are familiar with some of the financial statement component. But uh, do not intimidate with it because yeah, uh, in this module, there is no uh, element of double entry, uh, debit credit, no whatsoever. Okay, you will be provided, so you will be given uh, already completed report, yeah, financial report. So... Uh, the job here is to analyze uh, the performance yeah, of a company in terms of finance. Yeah? Okay, let's have a look at the first part, which is part A, overview of finance. Here we have four parts here in terms of definition. What are the roles or responsibility of financial managers, yeah, especially in the finance department? And then uh, third part, the third part is the goals of a firm. That means the main objective of a firm. And A4, yeah, that means uh, agency problem. Okay, what does uh, finance stands for? Okay, the word finance can be described as the arts and science of managing money. Okay, so the key word here, yeah, uh, which is money. Yeah, all right. So finance, yeah, which is uh, if we expand, yeah, expand the definition or make it simplified, we can call it as a money management, okay? So money management is very important and somehow, yeah, uh, the word art and science means that there are many ways of managing money, yeah? Regardless of uh, clean tactic, uh, clean strategy or dirty strategy, yeah, as long as it has some ways yeah, on managing, managing money. How money is being managed by a company especially, okay? But... Not only we are focusing on uh, business finance, but also we can touch a little bit on individual finance. So therefore, your finance is divided into two perspectives, yeah, which are individual finance and business finance. Okay, individual means that uh, referring to a person. Yeah, that means uh, it's you, yeah, a person. So individual finance is about the decision or, uh, on savings versus spending. All right. How do you want to approach your money? Are you going for more savings or are you going for more spendings? Okay. So, and then at the same time, yeah, how do you want to balance between savings and spending? Okay. You, uh, let's say an individual were given uh, some amount of uh, salary, for example. Okay. And how do you want to manage your 3,000 ringgit? Do you want to save more? Do you want to spend more? Okay, some kind like that. Yeah, regardless of any approach. Yeah, do you want to go for safe approach? Do you want to go for a uh, very um, risky approach? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, that, that one is individual. But as far as business finance is concerned, yeah, which is company, uh, decision of funding versus expanding. Okay, uh, some of you might uh, knew uh, about this one. Okay, funding means that how company wants to find money from. Yeah, how do you, uh, how do company wants to get the money from, yeah? Okay, um, I give an example, yeah? Usually, uh, in the business, uh, okay, if you want to start a business, usually you don't have a money, yeah? Therefore, yeah, you will, uh, you 
doing analysis and then you want to make a decision making on uh, having a financing or having funding. Okay, one of the alternatives may be a loan from bank. Another alternative is from um, capital, which is uh, ask capital, uh, not only for yourself, but also from uh, other partners, yeah, so on. Okay, expanding means that once do you got the funding, yeah, you got the money, uh, either from loan or either by capital, you expand the business. Expand the business means that you, you need to do some like uh, making the business growing, yeah. Okay, expanding. That means in terms of expenses. For example, uh, buy asset. Yeah, if you are selling burger, uh, of course you need to buy stalls. Yeah, buy stalls, buy equipment. Yeah, buy uh, what we call as uh, cutleries. Yeah, buy raw materials and so on. Okay, but we're talking about big companies. Expanding means that let's say McDonald's. Yeah. McDonald's is expanding their branches, yeah, add more branches, add more outlets, yeah, add more menus, yeah, add more machines, kitchens, and so on. So they call it expanding. But the question is, where does the money get from? Yeah, later on. Now, later on, I will try to explain the models of uh, business finance. Yeah? <coughs> okay, roles of financial manager. Uh, what does uh, financial manager do? In, a, in the company. Dif uh, different company have different financial manager and also have different approaches yeah, and different roles and responsibility. Okay, so let's have a look at the first part. Financial manager will do corporate strategies and financial planning. Okay, in other words, yeah, financial manager is a mastermind of uh, moving company into another direction in terms of money management. Yeah, contribute in corporate planning and development of financial policy of a firm. So that means they will come up with the policy, rules and regulation regarding finance. Yeah, okay. Uh, how much uh, money allowed uh, to uh, withdraw and then who will sign the check and then um, who will approve uh, does expenses, yeah, uh, and so on. A lot of things, yeah. How do you, how do they want to uh, collect money from the customers? Yeah, so there, there are a lot of policies yeah, in the company yeah, uh, designed by financial manager. Okay, the second part is uh, financial manager um, able to perform cash and credit management. Okay, uh, uh, of course, uh, cash is uh, money, your pure money, and credit is more on uh, borrowing or accruals. Uh, sorry, not uh, yeah, accruals, pay, pay later. Yeah? I mean, um, regardless of uh, liabilities, yeah? we're talking about liability management. So look after the firm cash need, banking and maintenance, security system of a cash. Of course, financial manager need to prioritize cash first. Yeah, and then will be credit. Okay, because remember, cash is king. So therefore, yeah, um, in other words, we can call this as a treasury. Yeah, in Malay, we call it as perbendaharaan. Lah, yeah, all right, to manage uh, some of money. Not only for the business, but also for some association or subsidiary companies as well. Okay, the third one is source and risk fund. This is, we call it as a funding, yeah? All right, so therefore financial manager need to find uh, the ways yeah, on how they want to get the money from, either from loan from a bank, yeah, which is term loans, or raising equity by selling shares yeah, to investor. So there are a few ways yeah, on uh, to, to, not to make money, but to uh, get, the source of money in order to make expanding, yeah, to make the business expand. All right, number four, undertake capital budgeting and make invest, uh, capital investment decision. Uh, this one, it, we are talking about um, projects, yeah. Okay, evaluate projects through its return on investment and payback period. They have to make sure that the project that company runs, yeah, is profitable, okay. For example, property projects. Yeah, uh, they have to ensure that yeah the property or the house is completed, and then at the same time they able to find the buyer. Yeah, so um, the buyer will buy house and then they will get the revenue. Okay, and this one will be covered on chapter five, I think, because to and to to see yeah whether are this project profitable or not. Yeah. Okay, this one, uh, the next one is perform risk management exercise. Okay, because uh, every company will facing business risk and financial risk. They will never know what will happen in the future. So therefore, they need to 
prepare uh, some precautionary measures. Yeah, precautionary measures uh, to avoid uh, risk, the risk of company getting losses. Undertake appropriate risk management in the firm. For example, maybe in, in the risk of uh, share price drop, yeah, price risk, and then uh, probably because of uh, the risk of economic recessions and so on. Yeah. And the last one, this is the uh, most important among uh, all this, intermediaries between firm information uh, operation and financial market. Okay, what do you mean by intermediaries is a middleman. Finance manager uh, is an uh, is a third or middle people yeah, between a company and also from financial market. Financial market such as bank, yeah, um, securities market, yeah, uh, we call as another way, futures market. So finance manager will uh, act as a middleman between uh, so to and to smoothen the transaction between company and uh, financial markets. Okay, so these are the example of uh, the flow. Eh? All right, goals of a firm here yeah, to maximize the wealth of the shoulder. This is the main goal. Okay, so I will explain why. Uh, to maximize the wealth of the shoulder is the most important thing. Some people might saying that uh, to maximize the profit. Okay, I'm not saying it is a, uh, a wrong answer, but you need to prioritize uh, which one. Yeah. So yeah, maximize the wealth. Yeah, is the most important thing and is the main goals of a firm. This is because financial manager have to make sure the capital contributed by shareholders will be used properly by generating return or profit and the profit will be shared among shareholders. Okay, that one I will explain in the diagram later on. Eh? And then shareholders are also owners of the company. Ah, this is important. Yeah, the company is owned by shareholders or investor, not the manager. Yeah? Please uh, do not make a, uh, a negative perception eh? that owners of the company should be shareholders, yeah? not a manager. Okay, other possible goals uh, which is after maximize the wealth you can maximize, uh, the company can maximize sales, minimize cost and maximize profit, yeah. Catch up and overtake competitors because business uh, cannot run with the competitors, yeah. It mu must be a competitor, need to compete very well, okay, in terms of healthy finance and so on. Avoid financial distress and bankruptcy. Uh, this is a, what we call major disease, yeah, happens in the company, which is bankruptcy. Okay, we don't want company to face uh, this kind of major problem. And the last one, ensure growth of the company maintain consistently every, every year. Okay, before I'm going to A4 agency problem, yeah, let me go to... Okay, you can see the screen, right? You can see the screen? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, this is clean. Eh? All right, so this uh, where is it? Okay, let's draw something. Okay, hold on a second, eh? Okay, all right, you can look at the screen, no need to click the share. All right. All right. So let's say eh, there there is a company called uh, sorry. Okay. 
Okay, let's say a company called SABC. Yeah, I, I want to illustrate to you on how finance works. Yeah, all right. Let's say ABC company. Um, let's say this year they want to start the business. Yeah, ABC company wants to start the business. All right. Um, at first glance, yeah, at the first glance, yeah, ABC does not have money at all. Okay, I repeat again. Yeah, at the first glance, yeah, ABC doesn't have money at all. So, there are two ways, yeah, usually there are two ways to find the money. Okay, which is, yeah, from debt, okay, which is debt. That means that uh, they will borrow money from financial institution. Yeah, for example, from banks, yeah, from credit companies and so on. Okay, and then, other alternative is ABC can find their money from equity. Okay, equity means that yeah, they will selling shares. Okay, equity means that they will selling shares or they will encourage investor to uh, provide a capital to the company. Okay, it can be 100% debt or it, it can be 100% equity or it can be mixed between those two. Okay, so uh, once they uh, assess and finance manager decides to uh, get money from either equity or debt, okay, let's say, um, let's say ABC uh, borrow from bank, yeah? so therefore, yeah, the loan will be provided and injected into AB, ABC, okay, and then at the same time, there is an equity, and then the equity, that means not only investors, but only, uh, there are so many investors will come and buying shares. Yeah. Okay. I repeat again. Eh? All right. Let's say ABC money at the same time borrow money. And then at the same time, they are uh, encourage investor or selling shares uh, to invest uh, to, to the company, eh? to the investors. So therefore, yeah. Uh, finance company or credit company will uh, inject uh, some money which is giving loans and then investor at the same time will um, invest yeah invest and provide capitals okay so therefore abc have money so once abc have money let's say abc is selling um, one of the product uh, it can be any product and then what they have to do is they will sell yeah, they will uh, the product and sell. So many customer. Okay, this one is a customer. Let's say it's a customer, customer, customer. So those customer, yeah, will buy the product and then they will buy and purchase and give money to ABC and ABC will make it as a rever revenue. Okay, I pick this one. Okay, this one. Okay, this one is revenue. I put it as R, eh? R which is rever revenue. Okay, so the revenue that received from customer ABC and then what is uh, what will ABC do? ABD, ABC will uh, calculate and to see whether the ABC company will generate of uh, profit or, or loss. Yeah, okay. Therefore, let's say if company ABC uh, generate profit. Okay. The profit that ABC got, yeah, they need to distribute. Okay, they need to distribute, yeah, uh, in two ways. Whether, yeah, they will have to pay the loan to the company, pay back, and another thing is they need to uh, share yeah, the profit among investors. Okay, because remember, at the first time, uh, at the first glance, yeah. ABC is uh, getting money from investor, yeah. So therefore, ABC is owned by investor, not by a manager, yeah. So the money or the profit they will get, they need to prioritize investor first. Okay, but okay, come back again to uh, profit. If you ask me, okay, sir, uh, which one? Uh, if company gets profit, which one they should? Uh, which that sorry which uh, which one they should do first okay are uh, they have to pay the debt first or are they to uh, settle the equity first so the answer is that first because remember 
ya yeah. debt or loan means that there is a contractual obligation ya yeah, between financial uh, market and the company ya yeah, an uh, agreement whereby there is a borrowing transaction whereby the the bank will or oh, sorry the financial market will uh, give money to the company and then the company will have to pay pay back okay so once the debt is settled not settled i mean the installment has been made and then the remaining profit ya yeah, will be distributed equally to the invest investor okay so the cycle is going on and on and on and on until the abc will become growing ya yeah? so that is how a uh, finance work ya yeah? if you ask me ya yeah, what are the source of money that company can get either from loan and either from selling selling shares ya yeah? okay uh, any question so far any question so far okay all right um, next go to agency problem okay agency problem occurs when manager may place personal goals ahead of company goals Yeah, so we are saying that yeah, manager will use their own power yeah ahead of company's interest. Yeah, this is all, uh, referred to conflict of interest. For example, bribery yeah in Malay we call rasuah yeah. yeah information disclosure that means they uh, reveal all the confidential information. One sided decision yeah that means the decision is not based on the case. Yeah, I mean the uh, favoritisms and so on. Okay. Usually, eh, usually management will engage to shareholders. That means management needs to report uh, the performance, well, whatever the uh, the projects that have been made, the progress, everything, yeah, the progress of the company. Management need to report uh, to report to the shareholders. But the problem is, shareholders need to engage management, which is something not right. Because you need to uh, bear in mind, yeah, that shareholders is own the company not the management management is just manage the company only so therefore yeah, um, shareholders have to ensure that management have to do the work yeah with due diligence yeah so there are two ways to prevent agency problem the first one market forces this one is a quite aggressive way yeah, which is use shareholder power to replace this honest manager it means If manager is not honest with their work, yeah, there, there is uh, more misconduct, yeah, therefore shareholders will use their power to remove or sack the manager and replace with someone, someone else. Okay, and another one is agency cost. Agency cost is uh, quite a positive and a good manner whereby shareholders will giving managers incentive and reward to owners manager. If managers perform work very well, you yeah, report on time okay so therefore they will uh, give incentive to the managers yeah okay and then give some reward some kind like extra holiday bonuses and so on yeah okay uh, i'll start here for part a uh, any question regarding uh, the fi uh, the finance part the introduction part no, no sir okay. Yes. okay hopefully the, ex uh, the explanation is uh, quite enough for you to understand eh Okay, uh, we take a three minutes break, yeah, and then after that, I will proceed with the uh, part B, yeah. Three minutes break, you can have some drinks, eh?
Okay, everything is clear. Alright, let's move on to the second part. Okay, second part is on uh, financial environment. Eh? Okay, financial environment that means uh, how finance play an important role in the business environment. Eh? So, I will introduce to you B1, forms of business, B2, corporate structure, and B3, financial markets. Eh? Alright, there are three forms of business. Okay, the first one uh, is sole proprietorship. Uh, I believe that um, small business management student like uh, Ame, Nadia, Ame and Nadia eh, uh, took this uh, module before. Okay, there are three forms of business, eh, which uh, the first one sole proprietorship. Sole proprietorship means that uh, owned by a single person, only one person own. Okay, for example, hawkers, yeah, uh, night, night, uh, night hawkers, online business, freelancer, and etc. The business is owned by one person only. So therefore, yeah, the responsibility of profit and loss is uh, single-handedly responsible by the that particular person. Yeah. Okay, the second one, partnership. Business owned by two or more person. Okay, for example, uh, partners, Ali and Abu, yeah, family businesses, and etc. Okay, and then the third one is company, almost upgrade version of partnership. Entity which have a separation of ownership and control. Ownership different people, control or management also different people. For example, CIB Berhad, Messis, Private Limited and etc. Okay, uh, come back to the difference between partnership and company. Okay, the difference between partnership and company is simple. Okay, partnership, yeah, ownership is, uh, partnership is owned by that partners itself and also managed by the same person. Yeah, for example, Ali and Abu. Ali is an investor and also Ali is a uh, manager. Okay, I repeat again. Yeah, Ali and Abu is a partners and at the same time, they will manage the business. But let's say company. Yeah. Okay, company ownership and control have different uh, different person or different group of people. Okay, let's say CIMB Berhad. CIMB Berhad is uh, owned by 50 investor. But... Yeah, CIMB Berhad is managed by CIMB staff, which is not uh, 50 people that I mentioned earlier. So that means different two groups. Yeah, two, uh, One group is uh, on ownership, that means investor. Another group is more on staff, Yeah, that means uh, management. Yeah, So that is a uh, difference between company and partnership. Okay, um, I come up with this corporate structure because I want you to know that management and uh, control, sorry, ownership and control have two different dimensions. They are separated. Okay, as you see, they are separated. Okay, so these are the stockholder, which is invest, investor. Investor is not working for the company. Uh, please bear in mind, investor is not working for the company. Investor just invest or purchasing share from the company own only. So they're giving money to the company. So they injected money to the company to ensure that your managers will, uh, managers and their team need to work properly. And then to make sure that uh, the money uh, is given by shareholders um, to ensure that the profit is there. Yeah. And then the profit will return back to the owners. Okay. That's why I tell you for the uh, in the diagram yeah, that uh, you need to maximize the return of the shareholder, maximize the, the wealth, yeah, because there are two separate layers, yeah. Okay, financial market. We're talking about where do companies um have the alternative to get the funding or to get money. So financial market can be described as channeling funds from the providers, household, or other firms and government that have surplus funds to those who have a shortage of funds and has required funds. Okay, that means yeah, there are two parties here, which is, yeah, providers. Okay, providers means that uh, they have money. Okay, they have money. And then another parties is whoever does not have money, which is so shortage. Okay, so the providers, uh, which is surplus, will channeling money to the shortage of uh, uh, people, eh? shortage uh, group of people. Okay, for example, me, myself. And let's say uh, me, myself. I don't have money to buy a car. Yeah, I don't have money to buy a car. Therefore, I'm in the category of shortage. 
and then I will apply money, uh, sorry, I will apply loan from the bank because bank have money, therefore bank is considered as surplus. Okay, that is a case of uh, borrowing. Okay, another case is um, when banks does not have money. Okay, bank does not have money, we can uh, put it as a shortage case. And then what does a bank do is they encourage uh, people to deposit the money to the to the bank. So therefore, yeah, uh, people who have money and want to save and deposit their money, we can put it as a surplus parties. Yeah. Okay. So the in other words, yeah, those have money will give uh, funds to the shortage. Yeah. Uh, so that is a how financial market market works. Yeah. Okay, it divided into two markets, which is debt and equity. That one I already uh, mentioned in the diagram that I draw. Okay, debt means that a place for the borrowers. Yeah, borrowers in terms of shortage and lenders, which is providers. Okay, borrowers means that uh, a company or person wants to borrow money. Lender means that an individual or institutions want to provide money to the borrowers and trade against each other via bond transaction. Okay. The bond, eh, uh, those who are taking uh, investment or investment financial analysis, uh, you will learn this this kind of uh, chapter. Eh? Alright, uh, the second one is equity market. Equity market is place for the company or shortage and investor providers trade against each other via shares transaction. Okay, that means yeah, investor have money, they are providers, they will purchase share to the company. Company does not have money, so that's why they are shortage. Yeah. Okay, by doing selling and buying shares transaction. Okay, so that is how uh, financial market works, yeah, debt and equity. Okay, before I'm going to part C, any questions so far? So far, no, sir. No, sir. All right, everything good, eh? Okay. The last part, eh? Um, please take... Uh, this part seriously because if you master this part C, eh, understanding financial statement, you can do other chapters. I can guarantee you. Yeah, if you are able to read financial statement, yeah, I can guarantee you you can do other topics as well. Other 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 topics yeah, in this module. Okay, so we have a C one balance sheet. Yeah, statement of financial position and C2 income statement, statement of profit and loss. By looking at this name, yeah, you will understand later on yeah, what does uh, those two financial statements mean. Okay, let's have a look at balance sheet. Yeah, in Malay, we call it as uh, penyata kedudukan kewangan. Yeah, okay, so um, it reports asset, liabilities and equities position either monthly or yearly basis. The definition says everything. It reports how much asset that company have, how much company uh, owe, yeah? that means liabilities and equities. Yeah, how much uh, company get from the investment from the shareholders. Yeah, that means how much uh, shares that they are selling. Okay, so the analysis of balance sheet. What what do we want to do with the balance sheet? Balance sheet comes out with two purposes. The first one to track the movement of asset. We want to see, yeah. Um, are the asset, sorry, in the asset is more on current asset or fixed asset? Okay, if there is more on fixed asset, what kind of fixed asset that they purchase? Yeah, and then uh, as far as current asset is concerned, later on we talk about that. Yeah, um, how much cash they have, yeah, how much debtors they have, later on we will see. Yeah, And then the second one to see what is the main source of funding by companies, either liabilities more than equity, or equity is more than liability, okay? Uh, because there is uh, some implication later on. We will talk about that. Okay. This is a balance sheet. Okay. Usually, uh, the format is T format. Okay. Usually, the format is T format. Okay. Let's have a look at the left side. Left side stands for asset. Okay. And the right side stands for liability and equity. That means the combination between liability and equity. Okay, in the left side, yeah, asset is divided by two sections. Okay, which are current asset and fixed asset. Okay, at the right side, yeah, we divided into two sections, which is liabilities, and then the liabilities also divided into two sections. 
current liabilities and long term liabilities and then the final part which is equi equity okay so by using this balance sheet left and right that means this is same amount right same amount therefore there is an equation to um, as far as balance sheet is concerned total asset which is equal to total liabilities plus total equity you get the same answer as total total asset okay I will come back to this one later, but let's have a look at the components inside balance sheet. Okay, asset, eh? I will play with this one. Asset is this part. Okay, asset is this, this part. Asset means that what company owns or what company have. Yeah? All right. So, asset is divided into two sections, which is current asset and fixed asset. Okay, the difference between current asset and fixed asset is... Current asset, which is asset, is less than one year. In other words, asset can be going out and going in uh, to the company, which is less than one year. Okay, which is uh, which have uh, one year maturity or less. Yeah, but fixed asset, asset is uh, more than one year, which can be used more than one year, usually long term. Yeah. Okay, the current asset uh, components. Yeah, for example, cash and banks. Why cash and bank is under current asset? Because uh, money can going in and going out every day. And then the second one, receivable, which is debtors. Why debtors is considered as asset? Because yeah, the customer is owned by the company. Yeah, debtors means that the company, sorry, the customer purchased the product but still not pay yet. Yeah, I repeat again. Debtors means that the customer uh, buy the product from the company but not pay yet so they can use this debt as a current asset the debtors can be um, going in and going out can be um, can be added or can be removed yeah because of uh, probably uh, they want to reduce uh, the debtors will be reduced uh, because sorry because of the company is able to collect money from them yeah okay the third one is inventory inventory means stock yeah, stock which is not sold yet. If uh, the inventory, uh, the stock is already sold, we cannot call it as an inventory. As long as the stock is not sold to the customer yet, it is belong to the company. Okay, prepayment. Prepayment means that advance expenses, which is expenses that which is already paid before using it. Okay, for example, insurance. Yeah. Insurance, okay, you the you need to pay first before you getting sick and claim. Okay, another example of prepayment is rent, yeah, rental. Eh? you need to pay first, yeah, to the to the landlord, yeah, and then you can uh, stay there, yeah, you can uh, okay. So that is an example of prepayment. Another example of prepayment is top up, uh, top up, uh, top up phone, eh. So you pay top up for 10 ringgit and then you can use that later to call or to SMS to purchase data and so on. That is called prepayment. That means uh, the expenses that you pay first. Okay, uh, fixed asset, which is this part, which is uh, asset that can be used more than one year. Okay, for example, machine. Machine can be used uh, for so many years. Yeah, plan. Plan means that the what we call as uh, the plant uh, factories, yeah? Okay, you can use that for more than one year. Land, of course, can be used for many, many years. Vehicles, usually uh, less than five to ten years, yeah? For example, van, your cars, and so on, you can call it as a fixed asset. Okay, the second part is liabilities, yeah? Okay, liabilities in this section. Liabilities in this section. Okay, liabilities, what company owes from others? Yeah, what company owes from others? Not only uh, other company, but also from other people. Yeah, okay. Current liabilities. Yeah, that means um, the amount that company need to pay the due within one year. Okay. For example, this one payable or creditors. Creditors usually in terms of supplier. Let's say example. Yeah, companies. Uh, purchasing sorry property companies purchasing uh, bricks or cements okay cements uh, in order to build a house 
So therefore ya, yeah, uh, they once they purchase the materials is already arrived, already supplied. Therefore company need, needs to pay. If the company still not pay yet, we call it uh, the supplier as a creditors, which is they need to pay within one year. All right, the second one not payable. This one is a short term loan. That means company uh, borrow money from a credit company and then they need to pay within one, one year. Okay, and then C, which is accruals. Accruals is an opposite of prepayment. Okay, accruals means that expenses that will pay later. Yeah, expenses that will pay later. For example, bills, utilities, yeah, utilities, water utilities or electricity utilities. You use the electricity or water first and then the bill will uh, arrive and then you need to pay later. Another example is uh, phone utility. Yeah, uh, especially uh, those who are using postpaid. Okay, uh, postpaid means that you use first and then the bill will come later. Astro bill, Unify bill, yeah, anything that relates to bill which is under accruals also. Okay, uh, so that is uh, expenses that will pay, uh, use and use and pay, pay later. Okay, um, long term liabilities, eh, the amount due more than one year. That means those are the loans or borrowings that need to be settled more than one year for, uh, for this one, uh, mortgage. Yeah, mortgage means that uh, collateral, eh? all right. Uh, I give an example of mortgage, yeah, a uh, house mortgage. If company or you does not able to pay loans, a uh, housing loan, therefore, yeah, your house is used as a collateral and your house will be mortgage. Okay, I repeat again, yeah. If you have housing loan and you are not able to pay yeah, the commitment, your house will be confiscated, yeah. Okay, your house will be taken, taken away by, by, by. That is a collateral or mortgage that you can, uh, that you will suffer. Eh? The second one is bond. Bond is a corporate borrowings. Company borrow from another company. Yeah. And then the last one is long term loan. That means company borrow uh, from bank uh, and then the agreement need to pay which is more than one, one year. Okay. So in Malay liability we call as tunggakan. Eh? Okay. Tunggakan. The last one is equity. Equity in this side. Equity does not have short-term equity. Yeah? Equity is always long-term equity because as long as company operates, the equity is uh, operates as usual. Yeah, Unless the company is bankrupt, there will be no equities anymore. Equities means that what company owes from people. That means in this case specifically for shareholders. Shareholders investment in the company or capital contribution towards company Okay, so these are the items common share which is company selling shares to the investor. Padding capital means that the uh, capital giving uh, by by uh, individual or companies uh, voluntarily. Premium, that means uh, the shares, expensive shares. Yeah. Preferred shares which is hybrid of uh, bond and uh, equities. And the last one, return earnings, that means the profit is maintained after declaring dividend. So this one will be classified under equities. Okay, uh, but before I uh, come to income statement, all right, let me going back here. The reason to analyze this um, balance sheet because I give you a simple one, simple interpretation. Okay, you have, uh, sorry, the, this Tiara Berhad have an asset of 1.6 million. Okay, I repeat again, eh. this Tiara Berhad owns a total asset of 1.6 million. But the question is, where do Tia, where, the, where did Tiara, get, uh, Tiara Berhad get this uh, money yeah, to buy this 1.6 million asset? I repeat again. Okay. How, yeah, how Tiara Berhad got their money yeah, to purchase 1.6 million asset? Okay either from loans or either from equities. Okay, I repeat again. 1.6 million, yeah, either they are, uh, sorry, we are, uh, some of their money is from liabilities, which is from borrowing, or some of the uh, asset is financed uh, through equities, that means uh, selling shares. Okay, the interpretation is simple. 
if equity eh, if equity is more than liability that mean is a very good one healthy that means uh, the the tiara berhad is considered as a healthy company but if liability is more than equity this is not a healthy financial management because yeah at the end of the day tiara berhad needs to pay whatever is obligated yeah before going for equity because remember liability first rather than equity so as you can see here um i can say that uh, this one uh, let me calculate this one to, uh, just closely 1 under 10 1 4 1 4 5 4 5 4 3 5 is 5 4 3 5 is around 7 9 7 9 Okay, two, two, three, two, two, three is uh, seven. So, okay, as you can see here, uh, I, I calculate uh, grossly. Okay, this one like 51%. This one is 49%. Okay, so as you can see, yeah, liability is 51%, equity is 49%, which is liability is more than equity. So, therefore, we can say that, yeah, this tiara berhad is not healthy in terms of balance sheet because liability is more than equity equity never mind about the asset they have the asset but the problem is most of their asset is financed through liability yeah which is um not not so good about that yeah? so that is how do you want to analyze balance balance sheet yeah? okay before i proceed with the income statement any question especially for accounting student any question on how no. to all right so it's good yeah? Okay, now income statement. Income statement is simple. To This is to provide the information of revenue and expenses. Revenue means money in. Expenses is money, money out. Okay, revenue is more on uh, sales. Expenses is more on spending. Okay, uh, we want to see eh, um, how much company uh, profit will get. Yeah. So the purpose of analyzing income statement are the first one to track revenue stream for a certain period because we want to analyze money in yeah, what is the main source of uh, company's income and to track expenses line in the certain period we want to see um, which expenses uh, has the most yeah in other words which um, there are so many money outs which one contribute the most yeah so this is the format of income statement, the simple one, as you can see, yeah, the format is going down, that means uh, it's a horizontal way. Okay, as you can see, I put here bracket, the bracket means minus, eh? you need to deduct. This one is minus, this one is minus. Okay, as you can see, the top here is sales, and then the last one is profit. As you can see, this is a less, the word less indicates that the revenue that you need to minus with these expenses. Okay, cost of goods sold expenses, 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 expenses. Okay. All right. Less means that need to minus because it, because it involves element of expenses, which is money, money out. Okay. Uh, I give you numerical analogy first. Yeah? Let's say uh, the company recorded a sales of 170,000 because they are selling the product and then the customer paid and then the total for the uh, for the sales yeah, as at 30 June 2016 is 170,000. And then you cannot treat 170,000 as a profit yet because you need to minus with all costs, all related, related costs. Yeah? Need to minus cost of goods sold, which is 100,000. 170 minus 100,000, it's become 70,000. Minus operating expenses, which is uh, another expenses need to deduct. 70,000 minus 33,000, it's become 37,000. And then minus uh, 7,000 of interest, become 30,000. Minus taxes of 12,000, which is 18,000. That is a profit after tax. That is a net profit. The The... The, the clean profit that the company will get. Can you imagine eh, from 170,000 to become 18,000? That means there is a gap of 152,000. That means 150,000 is this one. One, two, three, four. It's a combination of four. So you can see here that the profit is 18,000. 
the sales is 170,000 but the expenses is 150,000 which is uh, we want to find the margin okay so we analyze that yeah the com uh, the company spent 152,000 yeah as at 30 june 2016 and as you can see here 100,000 33,000 7,000 and 12,000 the most money money out is from here 100,000 which is from cost of good good sold in malay kita uh, we call as a cost jualan yeah all right uh, let's uh, go through some of the terms here cost of good sold okay cost of good sold means that in malay i, I told you earlier cost jualan eh? cost involved in production and pay the, to the suppliers yeah raw materials yeah um, and then also need to pay uh, other materials, yeah, parts, components, and so on. Uh, there is uh, any cost that related to to sales, yeah. Okay, for example, nasi lemak, yeah, nasi lemak. That means cost of goods sold is beras, yeah, sambal, chili, yeah, uh, anchovies, and so on. Uh, that is the cost of good goods sold. So once you minus, you will get gross profit. And then you need to list operating expenses. Operating expenses means that cost involved in operation and internal expenses in the company. Yeah, anything that uh, expenses that occur inside a company we call as operating example uh, uh, expenses. Yeah, for example, uh, wages and salary. Yeah, utilities. Yeah, and others. Uh, thing admin expenses, marketing expenses, and so on. That is more on internal expenses. Yeah, which is inside company. So gross profit less operating expenses, you become earnings before interest and tax. You need to less interest, okay, because this one you need to remove later. Interest first. Interest means that cost involved to pay interest to the bank to do borrowings, yeah? Because the company, yeah, borrow money from bank, they need to pay in interest, okay? So therefore, yeah, uh, since uh, the interest need to pay to the bank, that means it's more on external, yeah, outside the company. Alright, so if if you less uh, interest, therefore if you become earnings before tax, that means the word interest is removed. The tax is left, and then you need to less tax. Tax means that cost involved to pay all types of taxes, usually income taxes. You yeah, pay to the inland revenue revenue board. Eh? Okay, so that is how income statement works from sales minus 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 to become profit. Okay, we are done with the uh, chapter one. Any question?